everyone, Dennis Chang here. Welcome to another video. I'll try to keep this one short because I'm extremely, extremely tired. I've been working all day, every day for the past few weeks. Not complaining. But if I don't upload a video on YouTube, the algorithm punishes me. Please, master. Before we get started, um, as always, please like, comment, subscribe so that I may please my master, the algorithm. Uh, commenting makes a big difference engaging and all that stuff and if you do want to support me um, DC Music School and South Slice um, my courses on those platforms are all on sale until the very end of the year so please do check out some courses if you like gypsy jazz if you like bebop if you're interested in harmony if you're interested in the playing of players like Mike Stern Pat Martino the late Pat Martino uh, Bure Legrand all that stuff you can find out on DC Music School um, I'm quite happy with the courses that I did for Sound Slice. So these are courses that I created during the pandemic because there was no way for me to produce DC Music School videos. And um, 
I think the content's really cool. Okay, so today's video is about how I developed the George Benson technique. Actually, I talked about this in a previous video from a few weeks ago. Check it out. I'll put the link in the description box. You'll also find the links for my DC Music School and Sound Slice courses uh, in the description box. Okay, so I did talk about how I developed this technique in a previous video. So the title may be a little bit misleading. What I want to show you is uh, kind of what I did to develop this George Benson technique. Well, I said it in the previous video. All I did was start to use the technique and I played lots of lines over and over and over and over again. And what kind of lines? Any kind of line that make use of uh, the picking technique, really. And <laughs> the more notes, the better, just for, to develop this technique. Before we continue any further, I do want to stress that the, the expression George Benson technique is not an expression that I came up with. It's what people use to describe the idea of holding a pick, the pick a certain way, tilting it a certain way, and it's striking it a certain way. It's not necessarily the technique of how George Benson exactly plays, but there are a number of players who use this technique. Um, Cheryl Bailey, Adam Rogers, um, Dan Wilson, Cecil Alexander, quite a number of players in Australia for some reason. And the person I learned it from was uh, an Australian person living in New York, J.C. Styles. I took two lessons with him and he basically got me started with this technique. So if by any chance he watches this, thank you so much for showing me the way. Let's get started. I'm going to show you some phrases that I kind of improvise in the moment. I might not be able to slow down because I haven't prepared anything. It was a very, very, very long day for me. But what I'll do is I'll have it transcribed for you on SoundSlice at some point. So keep checking this video regularly and um, check the description box. So here's one, for example. <laughs> Here's another. And as far as the right hand is concerned, like the pick strokes, they're, I don't put much thought into them either. I'm not saying you shouldn't, but just in my case, even when I was starting out with this technique, um, it's just by ear, I, I kind of feel where I should put slurs or accents. It's a mix of alternate picking, what people call economy picking some sweeping uh, and uh, some slurs as well to get that jazz articulation. I'm not necessarily picking every single note. I know some people do. So if that's what you like to do, then of course, then you should do that. Tons of lines like that. Let's see what else I can come up with. And I have this cool little device called the pick stick. Um, let's put it on. Give you another perspective. So there you go. If you're trying to develop technique with uh, this so-called George Benson technique, then hopefully you can practice some of these lines. Or even if you're developing your own technique, maybe these lines could be of use to you. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm sorry it was short and sorry that I wasn't so organized. It was just uh, 
It was a really long day. I've been working. What time is it right now? It's like almost 1 a.m. and I've been working since I woke up nonstop. So there we go. See you next week. Please the algorithms.